everybody, it's Monday, March 1st. As we close out February, I wanted to highlight a few things that happened in the past month. So firstly, we only had one COVID case to share with you. As always, we don't expect to be COVID free between now and the time that the vaccination's out, uh, but obviously extremely happy with only having one case. Uh, please go to the BC CDC website for more provincial specific data. Always want to stay as informed as possible, uh, and the BC CDC website has great information and great statistics. From a DC perspective, we had a good month compared to budget. So our target for productivity is a 105.2, and we came in at a 104.6, so close. Direct productivity is one of the main measurements for success that we use. It's all the hours spent on forklift, assembly, loading, receiving, divided up against all the cases that we ship. So for the last four weeks, we shipped almost 3.3 million cases and we used 31,428 hours against it to give us that 104.6 overall number. The other main metric that we use is cost per case. So that's a simple calculation of all the money it takes to run this building divided by the cases we use. So that's labor, that's our rent, that's the power bill if we have to plow the snow, we, uh, paying for our machines, paying for our electricity, all of those things divided up into the amount of cases that we shipped. Just like our productivity number, we're so close to hitting that um, and achieving our budget. It, it is really important for us to hit these budgets. Um, we are a business, so obviously it's important to be cost effective, but it's also a fraction of our overall success of the building. Like I would have said last year during the tell it as it is surveys, the results that we get on those are a reflection to the outside world and the outside business of our DC. We showed through those tell it as it is scores that we are a committed workplace. When we add in great productivity and financial results, it makes that case even stronger. From a safety perspective, last month, we were slightly over our targets. We targeted um, three accidents for the period and we came in at four. While it's certainly better than the 12 accidents we had in the same time frame last year, it isn't up to our recent standards. Following those simple SOPs for machine use, following the proper lifting techniques, um, really do add up. So they add up to less first aids, which add up to less claims. Uh, accidents start with bad habits uh, and we are fully committed to enforcing those bad uh, enforcing those bad habits <laughs> forcing people to follow the correct behaviors uh, and uh, reinforcing the good habits february has also been an exciting month for events uh, two major ones were the lunar new year celebration and black history month celebration again if you have not been on the facebook page to check out the video for black history month please go and do that it is amazing it is our colleagues being spotlighted, reflecting on what Black History Month means for them. And again, it's truly awesome. Go check it out. This month, there'll be more diversity and inclusion events coming. We'll continue to share what those are through the chalkboard, um, the bulletin boards, through huddles, and also through this video messaging. Um, we're also introducing a new training tool over the course of the next few weeks. Uh, it will allow you to access uh, lots of cool training videos. Uh, we're going to kick it off with the diversity and inclusion one. So more to come on that. We're going to share that first with our easy text uh, groups. So if you have not signed up for easy text, please see your supervisor uh, and they can get you on there. That's all for me. Stay healthy, work safe, and let me know if I can help in any way. Thanks.